Do you think Kanye West, if he had a black woman, things would be different? Oh, absolutely. I think Kim Kardashian used him. And the fact that they're making that man pay $200,000 a month in child support when both he and the wife are billionaires are absolutely uh, ridiculous. I think they want to break him. I think they want to break him. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Paying 200 k is crazy. I don't give a fuck how much money you making, bro. 200 k is obviously not for the fucking kid, bro. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle to uphold. But if both of the parents are making bank, breach? Hmm, sure. And yeah, all the I do agree. They trying to uh, make an example out of Kanye, bro. For sure, bro. Well, I don't agree with the way in which Kanye articulated. Same. How he articulated himself sometimes do be kind of nuts. He be saying, but I think it'd be for shock value. I'm pretty sure at this point everybody knows some of the shit Kanye be saying be for shock value. So that people got got people like me and other people reacting to some of his videos because other otherwise, bro, some of that shit don't make no sense. I think he understands what the media is and what they go and pick up and what they're going to cover based on what he says. If he say some outlandish shit about black people, people are going to watch. Or if he say some outlandish shit about Jewish people or whoever, whatever group of people, like some crazy shit about them, they're going to watch. It's like, oh, Kanye, Kanye said this, Kanye said that. And it's to get people attention. Like I said, man, that should be working, though. Some of his don't. thoughts. I appreciate the fact that he was the first black man since Michael Jackson to speak truth to power, to mm. specifically identify certain communities of Europeans who have exploited gangster rap, black entertainers, and other people since its inception, and nobody has called them out. He's the first to do it since Michael Jackson. I but when Michael. Mm. I did see a clip of Michael uh, speaking on that shit. Actually, I think I might react to some Michael shit. Niggas don't really realize how big Michael was, bro. That man, bro. Different guy, bro. Popularity, different. Nobody has been or will ever be as famous or as, I want to say, as talented as Michael, bro. He is really a one of one. A one of fucking one, respectfully. Did it. He wasn't in his prime. Kanye did it in his prime. I can't give Kanye no respect because I've never seen a black man seek more white validation than Kanye. Mm. Well, that's the issue. That is, a set, that that is, is one the, of the issue. Most that is true. That is true. I'd be some. Peyton Kanye is plane. not choosing a side. Mm -hmm. One day, it's about saving our people. The next day, you want to date with another snowball. Okay, right. What I will say about that part is that's that's human. Like, I get it because he's like a leader. So, like, you want him to kind of be like, like, direction wise, like, just straight and narrow. But at the same time, bro, it's human beings, bro. I'm pretty sure he's dealing with shit, so at one, sometimes at one moment, he probably do be wanting to deal with this, and then another moment come up, and he want to tackle that, too, but he's one person, so you got to realize, prob like, the probability of him focusing on one thing when it's so broad and so many things, so many injustices in the world, it's going to be hard, bro. At least, I feel like he's sparking conversations in some regards to certain shit that maybe people will, people may not see or people may not think is important or or things that people may not know about, and he's bringing, a, he's starting a conversation, or at least making the conversation happen, or be heard, or a situation be happen, or like, like be heard type shit. But he's one person, bro. I get it. He has people backing him, but bro, at the end of the day, he's putting his shit on the line. Like when you think of Kanye, you don't think of the people that like that like around him. You think of Kanye, like. Ye is a brand by itself. Like, yeah, people help and shit like that, but he's putting himself at the forefront. So I think, as a people, I think we should kind of like, like, all right, what is Kanye talking about? Like, what's going on? Because people just be saying he's crazy. And I don't think, I think, all right, sometimes he may come off crazy, but like, I'm not saying like, not listen to him or like, what, what we should or shouldn't do. But like, at the same time, bro, when other people say outlandish crazy shit, like, people won't even really be paying it no mind. Like, it's like, oh, whatever, like, or or even, like, it'd be a crazy story, like, Brett Favre, prime example. You hear some crazy shit, that shit was circulating for, like, a day or two, and then that shit vanished. We don't even talk about that. Yay shit happened, you feel me? Now he gotta apologize, he gotta, gotta do this, that, and that, and that, you feel me? So, it's just interesting how we, like, it's pick and choose, choosy with certain shit. I'm not gonna lie. Bunny. One day, He's it's about... Do you think Kanye... Yeah, nah. I, just, I, uh, I fuck with Ye. Like, not even just because I fuck with his music, but I feel like 
in the midst of certain shit, it don't make sense. But then later on, it just be like, oh, look, we're having a conversation about some shit we probably wouldn't have been having a conversation about if he didn't say that outlandish shit. Like, I can't speak for all black people, but when somebody black say some crazy shit, we look. Like, when you say some, some smart shit, people like, stop, look, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's kind of like, as a whole, some people may ignore it, but for the most part, he's he's have, he's making the conversation ha- happen. So I respect him for it. But y'all let me know what the fuck y'all think. Maybe I'm chatting. Maybe I'm as crazy as yeah or some shit. But I feel like when you've been through some shit as, like that Kanye's been through, I feel like you know some shit that maybe not the whole world is paying attention to or some shit that needs to be said. And it may come off crazy how he's saying it or articulating stuff or how he's saying it, but... He's saying it in a way for us to be like, whoa, hold on, what do you mean by that? What did he say? It's creating a conversation. It's creating a dialogue. But, hey.